everyone has morals, an idea of right and wrong. So what if someone or something could control this? What if someone or something decided for you what is right and what is wrong? Good morning, darling. Ugh. Where's your brother? Not up yet? I think he's just getting up. <laughs> Dad, at least I threw a bowl of water over me. <laughs> you should have got out of bed then. Go get ready, man. Remember, remember the 30th of November. On this day, everyone in the country must have their bird flu vaccination jab. The vaccination is compulsory. It will be administered in schools, workplaces and doctor's surgeries across the UK and in homes for those unable to reach such places. For your protection, please make sure you get yours. You know, Dad thinks there is no outbreak. I know, but then why would they be forcing everyone to have the injection? It's been all over the news for months. Exactly. Shouldn't half of Britain have bird flu by now? Well, it was around like 20 years ago. I guess it's just taken them this long to develop a vaccine. Plus, it hasn't reached Britain yet. They're just preparing. But on the news it said loads of people have died of it in Europe. Dad spoke to Grandma Dier on the phone and she said she's heard nothing about it in France. Oh, I don't know. Well, who cares? One little injection, one less virus we can catch. Not afraid of the needle, are you? No. Dad? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. We can see it's you now. Shh! Listen to me. We're going to have to leave. Leave? Dad, what do you mean? It's the vaccination. Where I work, I found out there is something hidden in the vaccine. RV29. It's some kind of chip or device. Dad, where are we going to go? To stay with Grandma Dier, but we have to leave soon. It's against the law to avoid the jab. And if all is true, they'll be coming down hard on anyone who tries. Grab some things. We leave early in the morning.
God, I hope police is all right. We never should have let her go on her own. You know how stubborn she can be. Anyway, she'll be fine, Tam. What if she doesn't come back? What if she gets caught? She won't. She better not get caught. She's got the car. It is her car, Harvey. It's also our only means of getting supplies, Jem. We don't need supplies. We, we could, could live off, off the land. land. Speak for yourself, Rambo. She promised me and Taz some booze. Who's Rambo? He was the main character in this film series, made in the 1980s. I wonder what kind of films are at at the moment. They're probably all crap. Just think, if the RV29 won't allow you to do bad stuff, then you're definitely not going to be able to watch it. Well, well, what about films from other countries? What, countries where their governments don't turn their people into robots? Not quite robots. People with the RV29 can still think and feel independently. Think independently, dependent on whether or not whoever invented the stupid thing thinks is right. That's not independently. Yeah, you never know. The RV29 could be worldwide by now. It must be. Otherwise another country would have saved us by now. Don't be stupid, Tam. The rest of the world's not going to do anything for us. They probably think it's a good thing. Crime rates must be almost zero percent, and it's only us and the others who have avoided vaccination committing the crimes. Marcus. You make us sound like scum. We are the free. I don't feel free. You better take a top off then, Jem. That might help. <laughs> don't be such a perv, Taz. Inside a brother.